In this Arduino beginner tutorial, you're gonna learn how to use the RGB light. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna use an Arduino Uno, a proto board, a RGB light, and also some wires. Alright, so let's get started with the wiring. As you see, the RGB light has four pins, one of them is marked as a minus, and the other pins are marked as RGB. The R stands for red, the G stands for green, and the B stands for blue. So we're gonna take the black wire and connect it to the same row as the minus pin on the RGB light. We're also gonna connect the other end of the wire to the GND pin on the Arduino Uno. Now let's take the blue wire and connect it to the same row as the B pin on the RGB light and also connect the other end of the wire to the pin 9 on the Arduino Uno. Now let's take the red wire and connect it to the same row as the red pin on the RGB light and also to the pin 10 on the Arduino Uno. Now let's take a green wire and connect it to the same row as the G pin on the RGB light and also to pin 11 on the Arduino Uno. Alright, so this is it for the wiring, now let's connect our Arduino Uno to our computer and let's go into the code. So first of all we have to name our pins, so for the rest of the code we don't have to look at our wiring to know which pin is connected to which color. So we're gonna type const byte blue equals 9, we're gonna do the same for pin red, so we're gonna type const byte red equals 10, and also for pin 11 we're gonna type const byte green equals 11. So now for the rest of the code we don't have to type the pin number anymore, we can just use the name of the color. Now we're gonna go into the setup function, the setup function is run only once when you power up the Arduino. Here we're gonna tell the Arduino which pins are we using and also if we're gonna be receiving the signals on the pin or sending them to the device. In this tutorial we're gonna be sending out signals to our RGB light. So we're gonna type pin mode blue, blue stands for pin 9 because we named it in the beginning, output because we're gonna be sending signals from Arduino pin 9 to the pin B on the RGB light. We have to do the same for the red pin, so we're gonna type pin mode red output and also for the green pin we have to type pin mode green output. So this is it for the setup function, now let's go into the loop function. So when we power up the Arduino, first of all it's gonna run the setup function once and then for the rest of the time Arduino is gonna run the loop function and the loop function is always gonna be looping. Here we're gonna type our actual program, so we're gonna type analog write blue 255. In this tutorial we're using analog write and not digital write because digital write can be only set to 1 or 0. If it's set to 1, Arduino will be sending 5 volts to our device, if it's set to 0, Arduino will not send any power on the pin. In this tutorial we're gonna be using our analog write, because analog write allows us to control how much the light is shining. We can use the values between 0 and 255 to determine how strong the light is gonna shine. If you go into the paint program, you can see that all the colors are actually made out of three colors. The red color, the blue color and the green color. And to get all the different colors, the program changes the values on those three colors between 0 and 255. So we're gonna do the same in our program. So first of all, we're gonna try if every color is working. So we're gonna set the analog right for the blue color to 255. And for the rest of the colors, we're gonna leave it as 0. Now let's upload the code. And as you see, the blue light is shining. Now let's try for the rest of the colors. So now let's change the wallet to 255 to 0. And we're gonna set the analog right on the red color to 255. And now let's upload the code. And as you see, the red color is also working. All right, so now we have to test our green colors. So we're gonna change the analog right for the red color to 0 and analog right for the green color to 255. Now let's upload the code. And all right, all our colors are working. Now let's try to create a random color every two seconds. So we're gonna go back into the code and change the value 0 and the value 255 to a function which is gonna select a value between 0 and 255 for every color every time the function loops. So let's delete the 0 and write random 0 and 256. So we type 0 for the minimum number and 256 because the last number on the maximum value is never randomly selected. So now every loop the program is gonna randomly select a number between 0 and 255 for the color blue on every loop. Now let's do the same for the color red and now also the same for the color green. All right, now all we have to do is add a two second delay. So we're gonna type delay 2000. This means that the program will wait on the same line of the code for 2000 milliseconds and then continue. So because there's no more line of the code, after the two seconds delay ends, the function loop is gonna loop and the random function is gonna change the values in the analog write again. This means that the program is gonna make a random color every two seconds. Now let's upload the code. And as you see, the color and the brightness changes every two seconds. Now let's also try to lower our delay to half a second. So let's change the value to 500. 500 stands for 500 milliseconds and upload the code. And here we go, we did it. 
So this is it for this video, leave a like if you made it to the end, comment down below if you had any problems, I will try to respond as soon as possible. If you had any problems with the code, there is a link for the code in the description. Also please check out my new Patreon site if you'd like to support my channel. The Patreon site will allow me to not worry about my bills and to make better quality videos, upload more frequently and also make better Arduino projects in the future. So please check it out, thank you very much, subscribe for more Arduino tutorials and I will see you in the next video.